Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Brewers versus Dodgers Major League Baseball matchup on Thursday, April 29th, 2021. Here on YouTube, I do more free pick videos than anyone, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. Let's get to this one, though, between the Brewers and the Dodgers. The Brewers plus 140 home dogs in this one. They're 14 and 10 on the season. The Dodgers 16 and 9. But uh, it has been a pretty rough stretch for the Dodgers recently. Three and seven in their last 10 games. They did grab a win against the Reds on Wednesday, but boy, it was a tough series against Cincinnati. And that was preceded by a very tough series against the San Diego Padres, where the Dodgers just haven't looked like the defending world champions. Don't look like guys that are just absolutely locked and loaded with all stars at every position. In fact, the bats haven't been hitting, and the pitchers, they haven't been good enough. And, you know, Trevor Bauer is a guy that they paid big money for, and uh, if you're going to accept that type of contract, you're going to have to deliver. Last time out, he did get a win, allowing five hits and three ru- three runs, two of those earned. But uh, those earned ones were home runs. That was a 5-4 win over the Padres. He's also got a one a one-hitter. Uh, through seven innings earlier this season against the Rockies, and his other win was against the Rockies as well. While he had a no decision in a Dodgers loss to the Padres and a no decision in a Dodgers loss to the A's. You know, Bauer has been good, but not superlatively great, like Cy Young award-winning great. He's been effective, but he hasn't been dominating. And I think that when you are when you get paid that kind of money as a free agent, you absolutely need to be dominating. We've seen some good stuff from Freddie Peralta, who gets the ball here for the Brewers. You know, he's been pretty strong in his strikeouts. And uh, his last two games, though, not as strong as his earlier games. Last time out, he allowed three hits and three runs, striking out seven against the, uh, against the Pirates in a 6-5 loss. He got a no decision in that game. And then... The next game, a 4-3 win over the Cubs. He just went four innings, allowed five hits and two runs to get the no decision in that one, a game that the game that the Brewers won. The Brewers have been really tough this season. I think that the thing that we have to remember about the Brewers, too, is they're missing their two best players. Kane and Yellick are both out, and those are guys that really are difference makers in the batting order of, you know, what's a mid-market team, at, you know, that Milwaukee is. And I think that, you know, they get those guys back in there. They're going to be, of course, a much, much better team, and it's it, they're still a few weeks away, supposedly, from that happening. But, uh, you know, the Dodgers, they haven't done anything that makes it makes me inspired to believe that they can go on the road now and win against, you know, what, what, was, what has been a playoff team just about every single season. You know, I'm going to take the Brewers here at plus 140, just way too much value to pass up, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, if you're wondering who the top handicappers in the world believe are the best bets on the board today, head on over to pickdogs.com and click on the premium picks tab.